Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are heading to Africa next week to start what will be baby Archie Harrison's first official royal tour. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be visiting South Africa, where Meghan is set to stay for the duration of the trip with baby Archie. However, Prince Harry will also be making additional trips to Botswana, Malawi, and Angola. So during their royal tour, what is the touching tribute the couple will be making to Prince Harry's mother, Princess Diana? With baby Archie in tow, the family will touch down on Monday, September 23 in South Africa. Meghan is scheduled to host a number of events during her 10-day tour of South Africa, with many focused on empowering women, and promoting health and education for girls. When Harry splits from his wife and son to visit other African countries, he will also be making one very significant visit to Huambo in Angola. Princess Diana hit the headlines for her visit to a landmine minefield in 1997, where she was pictured wearing protective body armor on the site. Prince Harry will be making a visit to Huambo, Angola, to the same location where his mother was famously photographed all those years ago, although the setting has changed dramatically since Princess Diana's visit. Following in his mother's footsteps, Prince Harry is also scheduled to visit the Huambo Orthopedic Center. Although Meghan Markle will not be with her husband for the visit, clues from previous royal tours suggest the Duchess may make her own tribute to the late Princess Diana. Meghan famously donned two of Princess Diana's accessories for her tour of Oceania with Prince Harry last year. Meghan was spotted wearing Princess Diana's butterfly earrings and gold bracelet as the couple started their royal tour of Australia in October last year. Jeweler Pippa Small told people of the Duchess tribute, that was a beautiful symbol and lovely gesture. She made them look totally contemporary, and it really showed the emotional value of the jewelry. Meghan was also seen wearing Princess Diana's emerald-cut aquamarine ring in Tonga during the tour, a ring she also wore during her wedding reception, so many will be keen to see if the Duchess makes a similar tribute to her late mother-in-law on the next royal tour. Africa has always been close to the Duke and Duchess hearts. The Duchess of Sussex's engagement ring features two side stones from Princess Diana's collection, while the center stone is from Botswana. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's plans for their 10-day trip to Africa are starting to come together. After sharing details of the trip on Instagram, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex also released their full itinerary. It is said that baby Archie will join the couple on the trip. Meghan and Archie will stay in South Africa for the whole duration of the trip while Prince Harry will be the only royal to travel to Botswana, Malawi, and Angola. Prince Harry and Meghan's itinerary in Africa, here's what we know so far. Monday, September 23rd. On Monday, September 23rd the family will touch down in Cape Town, South Africa. It is believed that they will attend a workshop that teaches children about their rights and self-defense classes. They'll then tour the District 6 Museum, a memorial to the 60,000 residents forced from their homes in the area during apartheid in the 1970s. They'll also learn about the efforts being made to reunite families separated by the regime, and join a community cooking activity with former District 6 residents. Tuesday, September 24. The couple will head to Monwabai Sea Beach, near Cape Town's Kealitsha Township where they will spend time with the Waves for Change program, an award-winning surf therapy NGO working with young and vulnerable people. They'll also visit the Lunchbox Fund, which provides meals to schools across underprivileged areas in the region. The Duke will head to Cape Town's famous Seal Island to learn about the efforts to combat the poaching of abalone. In the afternoon, Meghan and Harry will visit the Cape Town's heritage site of the Bokop, a region of cultural diversity, before finally attend a reception at the British High Commissioner's residence. Wednesday, September 25th. Meghan and Harry will meet Archbishop Desmond Tutu and his wife, Leah, at the headquarters for their Desmond and Leah Tutu Legacy Foundation. Then the couple will split with Meghan staying in South Africa with Archie, and Harry heading to three other Southern African countries. During the rest of Wednesday, Meghan will visit the Woodstock Exchange that encourages female entrepreneurs, while Harry travels to Botswana. Thursday, September 26th. On Thursday, 
Meghan will take part in a women in public service breakfast. Prince Harry will join school children in Botswana where they will plant trees. He will also visit a project run by his charity Sente Vale, then travel to Chobe National Park to dedicate an area of forest to the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy, before heading for Angola. Harry will spend the evening in a new Halo Trust demining camp in Durico, southeast Angola. Friday, September 27. Friday will see Harry witness the legacy left behind by his mother, Princess Diana, in her efforts to rid Angola of landmines. He will have the chance to remote detonate a landmine himself, before visiting the spot in Huambo where his mother famously stepped over landmines and was photographed, now a bustling, lively street with schools, shops, and houses. Harry will attend a reception at the British Ambassador's residence in the evening. Saturday, September 28. Prince Harry will meet with Angolan President Joao Lourenco at the Presidential Palace and then visit a maternity hospital before traveling to Malawi. Sunday, September 29. On Sunday, the Duke will visit a Malawian college which promoted women's education. He will also meet the country's president, Peter Mutharika. Monday, September 30th. Prince Harry will fly to Lewand National Park to pay tribute to guardsman Matthew Talbot, who lost his life while on an anti-poaching patrol. Tuesday, October 1st. The Duke will visit the Malwa Health Center in Malawi, before heading back to South Africa to meet his wife and son in Johannesburg. Meanwhile, Meghan will attend a roundtable discussion with the Association of Commonwealth Universities in Johannesburg. She will discuss challenges faced by young women in accessing higher education. The Duchess will also visit a local school to meet a charity that tackles sexual violence in schools. Wednesday, October 2. On the last day of their tour, Prince Harry and Meghan will meet with young inspirational young South Africans in Johannesburg communities. They will then meet with Graca Machel, widow of the former president, Nelson Mandela. To wrap up the tour, the Duke and Duchess will meet with President Cyril Ramaphosa and his wife, Dr. Chepo Mosep. The family will head back to London that evening.